What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. Um, I have a massage. I have a massage. I've been getting a lot of love messages um, lately. Um, there's somebody who just wishes you were theirs. Like I heard, just be mine. Just be mine. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie, artichokey. Somebody could like have a nickname for you. Are you for them? Sagittarius. What's up, Saggy? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing so well today. You need to trust yourself, okay? All right, so we're going to do the general trading and see what's going on with you. And I'll get some advice. At the end, can we deal with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius? Sheesh, you got a lot, bro. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go quickly. We're gonna go quickly. Okay, you have the um four of Ariel here. You have the Knight of Ariel. You know we've got a lot to say to you. You have the Eight of Michael, the Ten of Ariel, and the Three of Gabriel. All right. Bottom of the deck is perspective. All right. It says there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. All right. So I feel like you're changing your perspective on something. Um, I feel like you're going the opposite route that um, everybody wants you to go. Um, and that's the way that you're supposed to be going. And if not, you should get on that. Okay. Um, don't compromise. Don't um, settle is the energy all right let's see all right so the first card are <laughs> four of ariel is like um four of pentacles and the regular tarot you have when you give you also receive be resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money there's something you're holding back and the universe doesn't want you to do that Okay, you have meditation brings answers here. Okay, so I feel like they want you to take a pause and real and figure out why you're um holding back. What is meditation brings answers and four of Ariel? You have the eight of swords in reverse, the page of wands, the king of cups in reverse. And the sun in reverse could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo, Knight of Wands, the bottom of the deck, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, so there's a new beginning here. There's a new endeavor that you want to experience that you want to take here. I feel like you're sure of it. The Eight of Swords is in reverse. You're not in your head about it. There's something about it that doesn't make you all the way happy. This could be a Gemini. They low-key had the same energy. Um, there's something about it that doesn't make you all the way happy here. That's why you're emotionally closed off with the King of Cups. What is this king of cups in reverse and the sun in reverse? You have the world, the three of wands, the three of cups in reverse. Okay, Sag, you, you that as right now? Hold on. The hermit is in reverse. Yeah, because what are you doing? Um, you have the three of wands, the world, the three of cups in reverse, the page of pentacles, and the emperor. I feel like in order for you to take this new leap of, I don't know why I'm saying leap of faith, the fool is in here. But this new journey, this new endeavor that you're going on, this, whatever this is for you, this new thing, I feel like it's going to require you to close out a chapter. Okay. And, um, now I feel like you've been waiting for this chapter to like close out by itself or, for something to just happen to like move you forward here um but that's not gonna happen with the emperor i feel like you're the one that has to take charge you're the one that's gonna have to do what you gotta do here okay i feel like you've been waiting for a long time for this to close out so i don't feel like um it's gonna be hard for you i feel like you putting in the work and you figuring out how to close this chapter out is where it's gonna come but you have the three of cups in reverse so it's like the universe is asking you to close out a chapter with friends or family that don't have the best intentions for you. I just feel like you guys don't see eye to eye. You guys don't have the same vision, you know? So it's like, why are you looking at that as a bad thing? 
if this new endeavor is making you close out chapters with people who don't have the best intentions for you, this is the best chapter of your life, my friend. This is the best chapter of your life. You better take control of it. You better step into that energy. You better. You better. This is what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for something to, you know, you, and it's crazy because you thought that something was going to change within this situation. But what you were waiting for was outside of the situation to help you push you. Because that's what the universe, you know, wouldn't it be great if they could just make our current situation better? Nah, you know, that'll be just amazing, but that'll be too easy. Then we wouldn't learn anything. So what the universe does is it causes outside energy to like push you to do whatever this is. And that's what's happening. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like you're going to learn a lot. I feel like this this isn't it isn't much, okay, but you're gonna build off of it. The page of pentacles is is the first stepping stone. Okay. If you have to downsize, downsize. If you have to, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta start somewhere, Satch. Okay. The hermit is in reverse. Hold yourself accountable for the fact that you're kind of like sour about this, but it's actually a good thing. Like it's actually a good thing. I know it doesn't feel good. But you're going through a change, you're going through a transition, you know, those aren't the best. But if you try to see the good to it, like it's like it's it's not going to feel as bad as you feel like it is. OK, the next card you have is the Knight of Raphael. <laughs> Knight of Raphael is the, is the Knight of Cups. Um, so there could be a love offer coming in, OK, from someone or you might want to give that to someone. All right. This is the Knight of Ariel which is the Knight of Pentacles in the regular tarot. Um, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being washed over by someone kind. All right. So if somebody passed away, um, a loved one passed away, they're definitely guiding you. Okay. At this time, this could be a pet as well. But um, I do feel like there's a plan that you're trying to make here. And slow and steady wins the race, Sag. You have if you believe. Yeah, I feel like the Knight of Ariel is the slowest knight in the deck. But when he gets there, he's the most reliable. He's the most devoted. Um, he's the most sustainable. So I feel like it's going to be a journey for you. And I feel like it's a journey of patience. You know, as a fire sign, you don't really have a lot of patience, right? I'm a fire sign too, so I get that. Patience was the first thing I had to learn. <laughs> and I'm still lucky learning, but I've, I've gotten a lot better. But anyway, um... I feel, I feel like I feel like you feel like there's a lot to do and you could just be like how am I supposed to get all this done and I feel like the universe is like wanting you to have faith okay wanting you to have faith and trust them at this time you could really be dealing with a Gemini you have the five of swords the five of pentacles the ten of cups in reverse and the devil in reverse Capricorn energy is here and the six of wands I feel like you're really in your head here because you are going to have to, the, you are either, there's some type of financial lack or your stability is kind of rocky. I also feel like you are going to have to, you know, um, downgrade is what I'm hearing. Okay, you have the devil in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. I feel like... Now, the fives are all about change. So you're not going to stay in this energy for long. I know that you're stressing about your finances and your stability. That's very much a good thing. But I feel like the universe... How can I say this? I know this is going to sound crazy. <laughs> but I feel like they want you to focus on detaching yourself from a situation that is keeping you unhappy. This could be a family situation or just something that emotionally is making you unhappy. Okay. Now... I know that that sounds crazy, like I said, because you're showing me like I I got things I got to get done and they're not being done. But fives are all about change. You're not going to stay in, in this energy. That's why the universe say, is saying if you believe that you'll get out of this energy, you will stay positive. You have the six of swords. You are going <sighs> to. <sighs> this is this is what they're waiting for, bro. This is what they're waiting for. You're going to be able to move from rocky waters into calmer waters here. OK. And you're going to start a new beginning, something, a creative endeavor. This could be a new passionate new beginning with someone or something, okay? And I feel like it's going to come after you close out a chapter. This is, this is a cycle completion, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to do that. I feel like right now you're indecisive because you want to keep the peace. But how can I say this? Sometimes, 
Um, you have to ruffle some feathers. Yes, I know it's uncomfortable. I've been there, okay? I, I've been there. Um, and I know it's uncomfortable, but honestly, you have to do it. If you want this new beginning, if you want your same ability to get better, if you want whatever, you got to end this family situation or address it. Remove yourself from it. Um, like spend less time with them or, um, you know, find, find a way to get out of the situation in some way. Like, like show the universe, make some type of action that you're showing the universe. Yes, I am separating myself or I am creating distance because I know that a lot, of, it's not like everybody could just, you know, pick up and leave. Right. But you can create distance. You can create space. And that's what the universe wants you to do. And that might be, that might be hard to, um, do but if you you have to do this for you now like you have to start living and whatever for you not your family not whatever this unhappy unhappy situation is it's for you now and if you're doing it for you and you believe that you i don't know sag i'm just i'm, I'm trying to make this short so I'm, I'm gonna keep going you know because you got a lot of cards right on the table but um if you believe that you're going to be able to get out you will they don't want you to focus on how you're going to get out they want you to focus on how you're going to detach yourself from this family situation focus on that emotionally detaching yourself from that first and i feel like the financial part the universe will help you like it's like i don't know how to explain it but we don't got time all right so the eight of michael is the next card okay which translates to the eight of swords and the regular tarot um, you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing, not seeing things clearly. Okay. So here you're showing me I'm trapped. I'm trapped and we're never trapped, right? It's our perception. What is eight of Michael? You have be assertive. Oh, <laughs> this is, I don't know. I don't know. I just got cute energy off of that card. I but but you know why? Because I feel like you're trying to be gentle. You're 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 trying like I'm seeing somebody this could be like your child, like I'm seeing somebody like with a baby, like, okay. Listen, Caleb, I'm gonna need you to not throw the candy bar at me anymore. If you don't want it, don't eat it. Like this is like I'm not saying, you know, but it's like you're it's like you're having you don't wanna come off too aggressive. But now you're in your head. And I feel like you just have to find a, uh, a medium. What is this eight of Michael and be assertive? You have the seven of wands in reverse, the three of cups, the page of pentacles in reverse, and the queen of cups with the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, <laughs> with love. I want to cry. This is so cute. <laughs> because you're really trying, Sag. And it's really ad admirable of you. Um, I feel like you're 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 making yourself feel trapped because you're like trying so hard to be kind and not step on any toes. Um, and that just shows the heart that you have. You know, like this is beautiful energy, bro. <laughs> This is really beautiful. Um, I do feel like you will move forward here, okay, with the Six of Wands. You are going to get out of this here, okay? Um, <laughs> this is so cute, bro. Um, I feel like you love whoever this is because love is the only energy that hits me this hard. Um, or pain. But anyway, <laughs> um, I feel like with love, Aquarius I feel like now this is what I'm going to tell you and I don't I don't even know how I can like um really like put this into words but I'm going to try my best I feel like you're being too practical about it I feel like you're trying to like you're being too practical like you're 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 thinking too much on, on the practical side on the material side I feel like in order for you to be assertive with these people with this person you have to come from your heart Right. Like, let's just say this is a baby. Right. And, you know, you're trying to discipline them, like maybe like pull your child, not pull them, but like get to the eye level of your child. You know, make sure that you're touching them in some way, their arms or something and look at them in the eye and talk to them with love. 
I know that sounds crazy, but that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm going to tell you, okay? I think it's going to work because kids, kids, um, lo the love frequency is, is the, is what they carry and they, um, and kids recognize that off that, off of people, off of people, just like dogs. That's why kids are very good judge of character. I feel like, especially babies, but, um, anyway, um, I feel like if you do it with love and care, your child will feel that. But it it has to be with love and it has to be true in the trueness of the love that you feel. Because I don't feel like it's fake. But you have to make sure that you're really, like, pushing that. Like, you know, really talking through your emotions. Like, while you're talking to this person or to these people, think about how much you love them. Think about how much, you know, happy they make you. And I feel like the words are just going to, like hit them right in the right spot. I don't know. I know that sounds crazy. I know. But that's what I'm getting. Okay. And yeah, so we're going to move on. <laughs> All right. The next card you have is the 10 of Ariel here. There is so there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. Okay. So I feel like there's something here that's abundant. The Ten of Ariel also represents a Ten of um, Pentacles in the regular tarot. You have Don't Stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't freaking stop. Keep it going. Don't stop believing. Hey. Something, something. Blah, blah. I don't know the whole song. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like you, this is what you want. You want a stable family life. Okay. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Slow and steady wins the race. The quick. Why do I want to call you Aquarius? Are you dealing with an Aquarius? Do you have Aquarius in your chart? You should go watch that reading. Okay. Bottom of the deck is a Seven of Cups in reverse. You have the Judgment, the Page of Swords in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse. This is th what? 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 You're you're here all mad, okay? You're mad here. You're spying. What the freak is going on? Sars, the energy drastically changed. What the freak? But you're only mad because you're not making a decision. I feel like you're mad if something isn't working out, but something isn't working out because you're not making the decision to build on something. Whatever this is, it's going to be very successful in the promise of retirement, financial success, a rich and rewarding family life. You're realizing that you could have missed an opportunity or that you're about to miss an opportunity? Yeah, because what are you doing? Hold on. Let's see. First of all, what is this judgment in reverse? Because this is all stemming from this judgment call you're not making. Oh, you're scared. The moon just flew out. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. I feel like I feel like when the moon comes out, it's the temperance. But you could do it. The devil, bruh. The death card, not the devil. You have three major arcanas on this freaking table. Sad. Stop playing. This the temperance card is your card. Okay. So you you're showing up to give yourself support. Balance out these energies. Balance what it is versus what it ain't. I feel like fear fears are just an illusion. Fear is created by their mind. Okay, the mind is connected to the brain. The brain is connected to the eyes. So fear comes from what you're seeing. But there, it, okay, you gotta, if you're thinking about something, you gotta feel it. How do you feel about it? And I feel like if you think about how you feel about it, the decision is gonna be a lot more easier and it won't be so scary. Because you are going through a transformation, so I get it. I get it. You're going through a major shift. But this is a good shift. I feel like you're, leveling up spiritually mentally emotionally you know like it's happening with inside of you so the fear is normal but don't be mad bro like <laughs> you could like not be really talking or if you're talking you're not really saying much you know <laughs> you have the ace of wands here there is a new beginning like I, I it's okay sag all right just don't stay in this energy for too long be aware of it and take care of it. Hey, be aware of it and take care of it. That's about to be my new slogan. Be aware of it and take care of it. Hold on, I'm going to write that down. Give me a second. Shh. 
Jeez, I see a lot more letters than I thought. All right. So the last card you have is the Three of Gabriel, which translates to um, the Three of Wands in the regular tarot. Okay. It says prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take what? Yeah. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. This is a surprise. This is a surprise. What is the three of Gabriel? It's up to you. Yeah, it's going to catch you off guard. I don't know what. This could be some prosperity. Oh, I don't know. We're going to clarify. Because this could be a lot of things. This seems like a surprise to me. What is the three of Gabriel and it's up to you? Because like I couldn't even focus on what I was reading. Because I was getting the message of temperance. The nine of pentacles. Okay, you're here again. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the M Magician in reverse. I'm hearing at the nick of time. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. Hmm. So, Saggy Sage, it's looking like um, you rejected an offer at the nick of time. And I feel like because of that, the universe is going to bring in something for you here to help balance out something. Hold on. Woo, the Hierophant. King of Swords in verse and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're not going to be honest with yourself, though. Yeah. I feel like, but this is crazy because you're, once the universe brings you this surprise, whatever this is, it's like, it's going to be your choice. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. It says, you have, it says it's up to you, right? You don't have to acknowledge this, but I feel like, bro, it's not a coincidence that this comes in at the same time that you reject something that was playing games with you, with the magician here, which is playing around. All right, so I am going to say that. Um, I do feel like the universe knows um, how big of a step this is. So that's why they're like, you can take it now. You, you, you can hop on this boat. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. I was literally just telling somebody this. That's crazy. You can jump on this boat now. Okay, because it's here for you. It's up to it's up to you. Or you could just wait for the next boat. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like that's why you're in seclusion right now. You're like soul searching. You're trying to find the answers within. Okay, and it literally is up to you, Sag. Something is going to take time, though, with the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, but like I said, that's the that's the most reliable and committed knight in the deck. He is the slowest, but when he gets to his destinations, he's there to stay forever and ever. Okay, so yeah. It's all up to you. All up to you. Why well, don't know? Okay. Um, if you guys are single, y'all should watch the Sagittarius single reading if you haven't already. Okay. Um, what's the four of Ariel and meditation brings answers? You have clear your mind. Gemini energy. Yeah, I feel like the universe wants you to like take some time for yourself. You'll get away from people. Just be with just you. You have go wild. Yeah, because I feel like there's a lot of chaotic energy around you right now that could be um, not helping you see the situation that you're holding back from for what it is. Okay, what is this Knight of Ariel? And if you believe you have go deeper, noon and Scorpio. All right, so... I feel like they want you to dig deeper here. Like that's that's what, that's what I was saying. Like like it's not just it's not just oh I got to get out of the situation. It's like it's like look deeper into why you're still attached to something that makes you unhappy or why you're putting up with certain things. Because I feel like you uh, there's like some type of there's like some type of acknowledgement that the universe wants you to make about this unhappy family situation. Or a thing that makes you um, emotionally unhappy. It's like, be be serious. The take a reality check is the universe kind of like giving us like a little quap quap for me at least. Let's um, be assertive and eight of Michael. 
You have trust the universe. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you need to trust the universe here. Like if you talk with your heart, with your emotions, this you 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 they will be able to understand you and you know, you're going to have to put your foot down, but you can do it from a place of love, okay? What's don't stop and um the 10 of Ariel. You have Believe in your good luck. Yeah, your energy. You know you are you are the luckiest sign in the whole zodiac, right? You should you should embrace that energy and love it. And love it. <laughs> um, believe in your good luck. Yeah, I feel like believe that if you make this decision that it's gonna happen. Like don't doubt yourself. They're saying don't stop. So it's up to you and the three of Gabriel. You have assessed the situation, okay? I feel the universe wants you to really think about it. Really think about the pros and the cons to the situation that they are bringing towards you. And then you have be open up to change, okay? So I feel like um, they want you to be open to the new. They want you to be open to new experiences here, even if it, even if it feels scary. If it feels scary, that means you're doing the right thing, okay? You have be real. And most importantly, be honest with yourself. Okay. All right, Sag, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.